Okay, this question is looking at uh, the market when there's a 30 cent per pound uh, excise tax placed on uh, the market for butter. So the por first portion says, what is the price paid by consum consumers after the tax? Well, let's find where the tax wedge is. Again, to find that, what we do is we start at equilibrium, we begin to look for an area where the distance between supply and demand curves is equal to the size of the tax. In this case, we find that a 30 cent gap appears right here. So what is the price paid? Price paid by consumers would be $1.20 because that's the price that corresponds to this portion on the demand curve. So the price paid by consumers is $1.20. The price received by producers after the tax is the supply price, which is at 90 cents. We're charging $1.20, 30 cents of it goes to the government. What's left is the 90 cents to the producer. How much butter will be transacted? How much will be, be sold? Well, let's find out. What is the amount of butter that corresponds to a 90 cent supply price and a $1.20 demand price? We just draw the line all the way down until we hit the horizontal axis and we find that it's going to be 9 million pounds of butter. And it says, how is the incidence of the tax allocated between consumers and producers? Well, what we do is we look at this tax wedge. We look at the original equilibrium, which was at a dollar. And we say then that the producers are essentially losing 10 cents on every sale compared to what they were getting before. Before they were getting a dollar, now they're only getting 90 cents. So producers are paying 10 cents of the tax. Consumers were paying a dollar, now they're paying a dollar 20, which means they're essentially paying 20 cents of the tax. And that's how you answer this question.